Hello guys, welcome to 90 plus my tuition app. As you can see, I have some objects laid out on the table in front of me. A pack of cards, a bunch of keys, a pile of books and a bunch of flowers. So students, can you tell me the one thing that can be seen common in them? Yes, we can see that everything is in the form of a group or a set. With this, let's start our first chapter, Sets. Our first topic is Sets and their representations. So, what exactly is a set? Well, a set can be formed of anything that can be well defined or distinct. Let's take a look at an example. A set of numbers from 1 to 10. Now, this is well defined because we can list out all the numbers from 1 to 10. So, this can be a set. Now, let us consider another example. A set of smart students or a set of generous people. Can this be considered a set? Well, not exactly. Because here smart or generous cannot be defined or measured. Or we can say that these are relative terms because the meaning of these words will change from individual to individual. Hence, we cannot make a set of these situations. Let us take a simpler example. A set of all the letters that comes after T. So, what all letters will be there? U, V, W, X, Y and Z. So, this is also well defined and can be called a set. Let's take a look at few of these examples to see if we can form a set or not. First one, States of India. So, can we form a set here? Yes, because there are 28 states and we can list out all of them. The second one is, strong students in a class. This cannot be a set because Strong is a relative term. So, let's try adding a condition here. Students who weigh more than 50 kilograms are strong. Can this now be formed into a set? Yes, because now we have a number, a quantity, a well-defined or a distinctive property that we can use to form a set. Next one is students who have scored 70% and above in an exam. Yes, this is also well defined and can be formed into a set. The last one is collection of great people in the world. Again, great is a relative term and we cannot form a set of this. So, the question here is how can we define a set? A set is a well defined collection of objects. Now, Let's take a look at how to represent a set. There are two methods of representing a set. First one, roster or tabular form. Second one, set builder form. Let's take a look at the first method with the help of an example. Set of all the letters in the word mathematics. How can we write it? We can write this as A equal to open curly brackets M comma a comma t comma h comma e comma m comma a comma t comma i comma c comma s brackets closed let's look at it in little more detail all the letters in the braces or curly brackets are known as elements and they are separated by commas any capital letter can be used to denote a set while its elements are denoted using small letters. However, there is one tiny mistake in this set. Elements in a set are never repeated. Thus, every element just appears once in a set. So, the solution to the set of all the letters in the word mathematics will be A equal to open curly brackets M A T H E I C S brackets closed. This is how we present a set 
in roster or tabular form by listing out all its elements. Also, we can see that A is an element of set A. So we can say A belongs to A. The Greek symbol epsilon is used to denote the phrase belongs to. Thus, we can write A belongs to A. Is B an element of set A? We can see that B is not an element. Hence, we can say B does not belongs to A and can be written as B does not belongs to A. Similarly, we can form a set of all the days in a week, a set of all the colors in a rainbow, etc. We have also come across sets in our previous classes. It's just at that time we didn't know they were sets. They are special sets used particularly in mathematics. A set of all natural numbers, which is denoted by capital letter N. A set of all whole numbers, which is denoted by capital letter W. A set of all integers, which is denoted by capital letter Z. Now, what if I ask you to write a set of all the whole numbers between 0 and 10,000? Can we use the roster method to write the set? No, right? It is time consuming and impractical. This is where the second method comes into play. That is set builder method. Here we won't be listing out all the elements like we did previously. Instead, we will build our set by using that single property possessed by all the elements of the set which cannot be possessed by any other element outside of it. So we can write the set of all the whole numbers between 0 to 10,000 like this and it is read as A is a set of all x such that x belongs to the set of whole numbers and x is a whole number between 0 to 10,000. Here x describes the element of the set. Any other small letter like y, z etc can also be used which is followed by a colon and then the characteristic property possessed by the elements is stated. Was this a little difficult? Let's try an easier one. Can we write the set of all the letters in the word mathematics in set builder form? Yes. Let's name that set as B. B is equal to set of all x such that x is the letter of the word mathematics. So, this is how we represent a set in set builder form. So far, we have seen what is a set, things that can form a set and the ways to represent these sets. Now, let's take a look at some examples for better understanding. Example 1. Write the solution set of the equation x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0 in roster form. Here, we can see that our given equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c where a equal to 1, b equal to 1 and c equal to minus 2. So this is a quadratic equation and we can find the solution to this equation using the quadratic formula and that is x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. On substituting the values, we get x equal to minus 1 plus or minus root of 1 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 2 by 2 into 1. On simplifying this, it becomes x equal to minus 1 plus or minus root of 1 minus minus 8 by 2, which is equal to x equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 9 by 2, and that is minus 1 plus or minus 3 by 2. So, x is equal to minus 1 plus 3 by 2 which is equal to 2 by 2 and that is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1 minus 3 by 2 which is equal to minus 4 by 2 and that is equal to minus 2. So, the solutions of this equation are 
1 and minus 2. Now that we have got the solutions to the equation, let's write it in roster form. Let us denote the set with A. So, A is equal to set of 1 comma minus 2, which is the required answer. Now, let's move on to example 2. Write the set set of all x such that x is a positive integer and x square less than 40 in the roster form. Here, the set is given in set builder form and we have to write it in roster form. So, to write this set in roster form, first we need to list out its elements. It's given that x is a positive integer and the square of that integer is less than 40. So, the positive integers whose square is less than 40 are 1 whose square is 1, 2 whose square is 4, 3 whose square is 9, 4 whose square is 16, 5 whose square is 25 and 6 whose square is 36. We cannot include 7 in this because the square of 7 is 49 and it is greater than 40. Now that we have all the elements, let's write our set in roster form. Let's denote it with b. So, b is equal to set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is the required answer. Now, let's move on to example 3. Write the set a equal to set of 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 etc. in set builder form. Here the set is given in roster form and we have to write it in set builder form. So in order to write the set in set builder form, first what we have to do is look for that common property or a condition which is satisfied by only the elements of this set and not by any element outside of it. So here the elements are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and it goes on. So students, do you observe any specific pattern or a condition which is only satisfied by these elements? On taking a closer look, we can see that these elements are squares of natural numbers. 1 square which is equal to 1, 2 square which is equal to 4, 3 square which is equal to 9, 4 square which is equal to 16, and 5 square which is equal to 25. So, each element is a square of a natural number and using this property, we are going to write this set in set builder form. Let's denote the set with A and its elements with X. So, we can write A is equal to set of all X such that X is the square of a natural number. We can also write this in an alternative way. We know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. are natural numbers. Let's represent these numbers with B. We also know that N is the set of all natural numbers. So we can write B belongs to N and their squares 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, etc. can be represented with B square. So the elements here are x is equal to b square and we can write a is equal to set of all x such that x is equal to b square where b belongs to n and this is the required answer. Now let's move on to example 4. Write the set 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 4 by 5, 5 by 6 and 6 by 7 in set builder form. Like in the previous question, the given set is in roster form and we have to write it in set builder form. So first, we have to find out the characteristic property of the elements of the set. On taking a closer look at the elements, we can see that the numbers in the numerator and denominator of each element is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's denote these numbers with small n. So we can write n belongs to n. Now students, do you observe any specific pattern in these elements? 
on taking a closer look, we can see that in each element, the denominator is one more than the numerator. That is, in the first element, the numerator is 1 and the denominator is 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. And in the second element, the numerator is 2 and the denominator is 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. Similar is the case in the rest of the elements. So we can say that the elements are in the form n by n plus 1, where the value of n ranges from 1 to 6. So let's write our set builder form. Let's denote it with a. So we can write a is equal to set of all x such that x is equal to n by n plus 1 where n is a natural number and 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 6 and this is our required set. Now let's move on to example 5. Match each of the set on the left described in the roster form with the same set on the right described in the set builder form. Here the roster forms are given on the left and the set builder forms are given on the right and we have to match the set in roster form with its corresponding set builder form. Instead of comparing roster form with set builder form, it would be easier to find out the elements from the set builder form and then matching it with the roster form. So the first set builder form is set of all x such that x is a positive integer and is a divisor of 18. So here two conditions are given. First one x is a positive integer. What is a positive integer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 etc are positive integers. And the second condition is it is a divisor of 18. We know that 18 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. So these are all positive integers and are divisor of 18. So the answer is very clear, it is option 3. The next set builder form is set of all x such that x is an integer and x square minus 9 is equal to 0. Here two conditions are given. First one, x is an integer. It could either be a positive integer or a negative integer. And the second condition is x square minus 9 is equal to 0. Here, the value of x should be such that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now, let's find the values of x by solving the equation x square minus 9 equal to 0. It can be written as x square is equal to 9. Therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 3. That is, the values of x are minus 3 and plus 3. So, when x is equal to 3, it is 3 square minus 9 which is equal to 9 minus 9 and that is equal to 0. And when x is equal to minus 3, it is minus 3 square minus 9 which is also equal to 9 minus 9 and that is equal to 0. So in both the cases, the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. So we can say that the elements of the set are minus 3 and 3. So the answer is very clear, it is option 4. Now let's take a look at the next set. Set of all x such that x is an integer and x plus 1 is equal to 1. Similar to the last set, here also two conditions are given. First one, x is an integer and second one, x plus 1 is equal to 1. Here also the value of x should be such that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Let's find the value of x by solving the equation. It's given x plus 1 is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 minus 1. Therefore the value of x is 0. Now when x is equal to 0, the equation becomes 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. That is 1 is equal to 1. So the left hand side is equal to right hand side. And we can say that this set has only one element and it is 0. Therefore the corresponding roster set is option 2. 
Now let's move on to the last one. Set of all x such that x is a letter of the word principal. It's a much easier one and the answer is quite obvious. We know that in a set an element is never repeated. So here we have not repeated the elements p and i and we can match it with option 1.